What's poppin' Air Gunners? I'm Denny the Flatbroke Air Gunner and we got another unboxing to do. This just came in, so we're gonna take a look at this and this. So, I'm gonna open them up with that, I hope. <laughs> this is kind of a hairy, scary knife, so we'll see if it does the trick I need it to do. Very cumbersome. Oh, it seems to wanna work well. Yep, got the 88 gram CO2 cartridges, the JTs. I got five of them because what is in this box runs on those. Woohoo! And I've been waiting on this for a minute, so. Trying to get access to this. Beast. And it is the Umarex 177 Fusion 2. It says 700 feet per second. This is my very first uh, air gun that shoots with these CO2 tanks. And it has the same, uh, the same magazine as my gauntlet does, which is a good thing because I have about six of those for my gauntlet and that is also in 177 so hopefully I can cross those over from gun to gun so we will continue on doesn't feel like there's any yeah should just be able to open this up oh no no wait a minute here we go This part never wants to work with me on any videos, if you've watched. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we got the scope again. Neatly packaged and tightly wound up. Came in styrofoam, so everything is lock, stock, and ready to rock. We'll check the glass real quick and make sure that nothing has been fractured or damaged in shipping. And then we will move on real quick from there. It's an Umarex 4x32. All the glass is intact and everything looks real clear and smooth. There's no fogging or anything crazy going on. So that looks optimal. Not bad stuff. Ooh, we got two of them. Two different, or they're the same actually, but two magazines for this itself. I'm not sure if I, and after giving it some thought, I don't know if I want to switch from this to the gauntlet with those. Well, I think they may, you know, maybe it's just me being paranoid, but if they end up seeding into a rifle and shooting right, don't mess with it. These are going to be the scope rings, so set those off to the side. Got the owner's manual and warranty stuff. All that, set that off to the side. And here we go with the good stuff. Wow, that shoulder, shoulder pad really looks like the heel of a boot. I'm not sure. 
how uh, comfortable that's going to be for long range or long days of shooting, but definitely looks thick. Slide this off the table. This has the dual dual ability. I can put two 12 gram CO2s in there back to or back to back and uh, run it like that, or I can put that straight in there and have that sticking out, and that's the way I'm going. Because uh, two two CO2 seems like this gun would eat that up pretty quick. It's got a Picatinny rail. The safety very functioning and very clear. It really locks. I like the ambidextrous thumb hole stock. Again, let me show you the the back. Look at that. It looks like the bottom of a boot from Vietnam or something. That thing looks crazy. We'll see how much recoil comes along with it. I really like the the bolt. Looks very sturdy and very well made. It's got a nice texture to it. The trigger feels nice. It's got you can feel it creeps back to a certain point but yeah and it's got the silence air technology that's supposed to really make it quiet and that's definitely beefy so and it's nice that you don't have to break it down every time just cock it and rock it so so yep this is the Umarex Fusion 2 in 177 cal like I said we got five tanks of air besides a bunch of the little ones but I, I don't think I'm gonna mess with that at all I think I'm just gonna Put those in it and roll with it. I'd like to thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Denny, the Flatbroke Air Gunner. Not only does your viewership, but your friendship means a lot to me. Always be a straight shooter. Always wear your shooting glasses when you're shooting. And I'll see you on the next video next time around, folks. Take care of yourself. Have a good time this summer. And God bless out there.